Hi everyone, in this video we will learn descriptive statistics. How we can calculate descriptive statistics in, status, in Excel. So descriptive statistics, I have taken an example of total number of these students in my class. There are total number of students 50. And these are the 50 students marks in my subject. In my subject is data analytics or business analytics. So I just want to know what is the mean marks, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, uh, maximum marks, minimum marks, as well as other various kind of things, range in these marks, right? What is the range? Those students have uh, got these marks. What is the range? So I just want to know all these uh, statistics, but how I can perform in Excel. So simply what we have to do, we will go there data and here is data analysis. Data analysis that is the add-on tool is already free of course that is available in Microsoft. And uh, here is descriptive statistics you can see descriptive statistics. We will choose this descriptive statistics right descriptive statistics and I will click here. And after that, what I will do, let me finish this. I would like to select all the numbers, all the entries in this cell marks. So what I will do, simply I will press Control, Shift and Down arrow. A moment I will do, all the entries are selected till 50th student, right? So then I will move to the next one. I will press here level in first row, levels in the first row. And after that, I have to click here. Now you can see, I will click summary statistics because I need and confidence level of level for me, 95%. Kth largest means I want a uh, second largest rather than the because maximum marks it will show automatically in this uh, descriptive statistics and kth largest means i just want to know second largest marks second highest marks and kth smallest means second lowest marks in this data set so after that i want output not in output range i need this output in new worksheet right so then i will press Okay, a moment I will press OK. You can see here in this sheet, these marks are reflecting that is entirely in a new work, new work, new sheet. So what we have to do, let me just bigger this one size. Now there would be more clarity. So now you can see mean marks 32.04, standard error 2.5, median 29.5, mode 16. Standard deviation 17.7, sample variance 315, kurtosis 1.8, skewness 1.2, range 81, and minimum marks 7, maximum marks 88, sum 1602, count 50. Largest, second, second largest number is 86 because uh, you can see here, minimum, maximum marks 88, and second, minim, second maximum marks is 86. Smallest marks you can see here, minimum is 7. And second smallest number is 11. And confidence interval at the 95% is 5.04. But before going this, I would like to explain you what is the meaning of standard error? What do you mean by standard deviation? What do you mean by sample variance? Already I had recorded these videos in Excel already in my playlist excel playlist but here is also once again i would like to explain you each and every meaning those are written here what do you mean by all these meaning so first of all let me i would like to explain you mean mean means average marks i had already is written here that means average of these marks how we are going to calculate average means total sum of these marks and divided by 50 so let me check here whether this is correct. So simply I am putting a formula. This one is and divided by this number because total entries are 50. So that should be 32.4, right? 32.4, 32.4. 32 
and mean marks is also reflecting 32.04. Same is here, right? So mean means total number of marks divided by total number of the students. After this median, median means first of all these numbers we have to arrange either in the ascending order or in the descending order and whosoever is the middle value that would be median. But when the number is in the, uh, I mean, number it would be odd number, then it is easy to calculate median because middle value we can pick. But when the number is the even number, so how we have to do, so middle two values we have to take, let's say these are the two values, then we have to sum up both these values and divide it by two, then we have to take mean value of this, that will be median. Mode means when we talk about mode, mode means we are talking about uh, uh, maximum repetitive frequency. So you can see here, these are the, I'm sorry, this is the again median. This one is the 10 students marks, right? What is the mode? So I think 27 is mode duty because 27 is the uh, used uh, thrice, one, two, and three. So maximum frequency of the number that would be your mode. Next, we come to the standard error. Standard error means the formula for standard error of the mean is equal to the ratio of the standard deviation to the root of sample size. So this would be standard deviation divided by under root n, where SD stands for standard deviation and is the number of the observations. So let's come to the variance. Variance means simple uh, measure of the variability. It is calculated by taking the average of a squared deviation from the mean square deviation from the mean. So variance actually will tell you the degree of spread in your data set. So how we are going to calculate variance? Here is the, let's say this is my data set 3581 and we want to find the population variance. The mean is given as 3 plus 5 plus 8 plus 1 divided by 4. So 4.25 that is mean and then by using the definition of the variance 3 from each number we will deduct this mean. 3 minus 4.25, then whole square. Then 5 minus 4.25, whole square. 8 minus 4.25, whole square. And 1 minus 4.25, whole square. Then we have to add on and divide it by 4. Then finally, variance is 6. Point, you can see 6.68. So that means actually variance is a statistical measurement used to determine how far each number is from the mean and from every other number in the set. So you can calculate the variance by taking the difference between each point and the mean, then square and average the results. Then after that, we come to the range. Range that is also used in our descriptive statistics. So range means maximum minus minimum. Let's say this is my data set. Lowest and highest values. For example, 4, 6, 9, 3, 7. So lowest value is 3 in this data set. And highest value is 9. So 9 minus 3, that is 6. That means this is our range. And same thing we had applied in our marks data set. Then we come to the standard deviation. So standard deviation means that is a statistic that measures the dispersion of a data set relative to its mean and is calculated as the square root of the variance. What variance we have got? If we have to do a square root of that variance, then we will get standard deviation. So standard deviation is calculated as the square root of variance by determining each data point deviation relative to the mean and measures the spread of the data about the mean value, it is useful in comparing set of data which may have the same mean but a different range. For example, the mean of the following two is the same. I mean, this data set is also having mean value 15, right? I mean, I mean, same uh, 15, 15, this is my data set. Let me, let me enter this. Let me enter this. That is, this is the one data set and this one is the another. So 15, 15, 15, 14, 16, and 2, 7, 4, 2, 2, 22, 30. Both are having same mean value, but they do not have same standard deviation because spread from the mean value, that's the most important. So it's most widely used measure of the dispersion of a series and it's commonly denoted by symbol sigma. After that, we come to the 
Next one is the this is the standard deviation formula, right? And uh, then we come to the this the one term has been used kurtosis. So kurtosis is the measure of the tiltness of a distribution. Tiltness is how often outliers occur. Axis uh, kurtosis is the tailness of a distribution relative to a normal distribution and distributions with medium kurtosis, medium tail are mesocritic. Distribution with low kurtosis, thin tail that is platycurity. And kurtosis is a measure of whether the data are heavy tailed or light tailed relative to a normal distribution. That is data set with high kurtosis tend to have heavy tails or outliers. Data set with low kurtosis tend to have light tails or lack of outliers. A uniform distribution would be extreme case. This is, you can see, with the help of this picture, negative kurtosis, you can see here, that is platycuritic. And here is the normal means mesocuritic. And leptocuritic means positive kurtosis, you can see here. So meso, lepto, and platy. These are the three kinds of Kurtosis is existing. So normal distribution has a kurtosis of exactly 3.2 and is known as meso. Fat tails are seen in distribution with a kurtosis greater than 3 and is known as lepto. And stock prices have been described as having fat tails. And platycuritic distribution have skinner tail with a kurtosis of less than 3. Then we come to the skewness. Skewness means it is referred to as distortion or asymmetric that deviates from the symmetrical bell curve or normal distribution in a set of data. If the curve is shifted to the left or to the right, then we can call it that is a skewed curve. Data is skewed. So three types of skewness are right skew, also called positive skew. A right skew distribution is longer on the right side of its P then on, then on its left. Left is skewed just opposite to this, also called negative skew. And a left is skewed distribution is longer on this left side of its P and then on its right. And zero skewed means there is normal distribution. And in this skewed, you can see here, I will just like to show you, these are the this is the positively skewed, means longer tail towards the right side. This is the negatively skewed, longer tail towards the left side. This is the symmetrical distribution, that means normal distribution. And at this point, how we have to get to know whether data is normal or not, you have to just calculate mean, median, and mode. At this point, when the data is normally distributed, mean equal to median, median is equal to mode, all three values must be equal to each other. So skewness value greater than 1 or less than minus 1 indicate a highly skewed distribution, a value between 0 0.5 and 1 or minus 0 0.5 and minus 1 is moderately skewed. A value between 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 indicates that the distribution is fairly symmetrical. So uh, I'm sure all these words must clear to you mean this value is clear standard error median mode standard deviation sample variance kurtosis skewness range minimum marks maximum marks sum count means total number of the sample largest number lowest number and confidence interval at the 95 percent and definitely i'm going to take a one session on central limit theorem in my next session so i hope this video would be helpful to you Stay tuned. Keep watching. Thank you.